welcome family, friends, students of both AVID and sports marketing, administration, Mr. Crowder, Mr. McDaniel, Ms. Mehta, Mr. Cress, Mr. Corden, Mr. Silvers, Counselor, Ms. Bonner, and Ms. Ben. Welcome. Welcome to the first annual CT induction, national CT induction of National Honor Society here at Northeast High School. I also want to welcome the rising sophomores who will be sitting in these seats next year. Please understand that this is hard work and this it, hard work gets uh, high results. And so please understand what you put into something is that what you, that's what you get out of it. Um, Miss Desolis. have been recognized for the same effort and aptitude that our students today have shown in their chosen area of career and technical education. From celebrating the excellence shown in developing their skills to nearly offering $300,000 in scholarships each year, the National Technical Honor Society believes in empowering each of our students in their journey to develop the skills they will need to build a career that they love. This afternoon, we invite you all to join us in celebrating these students and supporting the time-honored purposes of the National Honor Society. Mr. Gordon. of the National Technical Honor Society. They are to reward excellence in workforce education, to develop self-esteem and pride, and encourage students to reach for higher levels of achievement, to prompt business and industry's critical workplace values, honesty, responsibility, initiative, teamwork, productivity, leadership, and citizenship to help schools build and maintain effective partnerships with local businesses and industry, and to champion a stronger, more positive image for workforce education in America. The colors of NTHS. National Technical Honor Society colors are silver, white, and purple. The silver represents value and worth. White represents truth and honesty. And purple represents achievement and honor. The official emblem of the organization is made up of a shield crossed by a scroll bearing the letters NTHS. Above the shield is the head of an American bald eagle with a wreath of seven stars circling the eagle's head. The shield represents the individual member. The line running through the shield represents a straight plumb line, fundamental to building a life and a career upon a good foundation. The bald eagle's head represents the United States of America and the individual's freedom of career choice. The wreath of seven stars represents the seven attributes of the NTHS member and the individual NTHS chapters throughout the US. The motto of the National Technical Honor Society is success favors the prepared mind. And the slogan of the National Technical Honor Society is excellence in America's workforce begins with excellence in workforce education. Good 
In preparation for our induction and recognition ceremony, we will light the candles that represent the attributes we adhere to as members of the National Technical Honor Society. In the center of the table is a lighted candle representing knowledge. Knowledge is familiarity, awareness, or understanding gained through experience or study. This candle represents the knowledge you have gained through experience and study in our technical programs. The first member attribute is skill. Skill is possessing competency and aptitude in a craft, trade, or job. The second attribute is honesty. Honesty is the quality of being truthful, trustworthy, and genuine in all your interactions, both socially and professionally. The third attribute is service. Service is contributing your time, effort, and skills to help others and your community. The fourth attribute is responsibility. Responsibility is being accountable and upholding commitments to others and yourself. The fifth member attribute is scholarship. Scholarship is a dedication to high-level preparation and achievement in your area of study. The sixth attribute is citizenship. Citizenship is supporting, nurturing, and actively participating in the communities that you belong, which you belong. The seventh member attribute is leadership. Leadership is the ability to inspire and guide others to work towards achieving a common goal. Fellow members, I hope you recognize these seven attributes in yourself and value these qualities that make you eligible for membership in the National Technical Honor Society. At this time, we would like to welcome Mr. Crowder to say a few words. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So I was in such a, um, a rush to get here on time that I forgot my notes. So I'm going to, I'm going to wing, is that okay? Yeah. Uh, you know, we're going to run back to my office and my notes. Um, so uh, first, let me start off by saying that uh, I'm incredibly proud of our National Technical Honor Society inductees. Um, our career and technical programs here at Northeast High School are an, an important part of the academic program that we're able to offer our students. We know that our kids, when they complete our CTE programs, our career and technical education programs, leave our school year after year with industry-based certifications that allow them to go straight into the workforce and make good paying jobs if that's what they choose to do. And if they choose to go to college, we also have um, opportunities for our students to earn um, dual enrollment college credits and different opportunities for them to um, to really thrive in the college environment. Our staff, our teachers, our administrators take incredible pride in our CTE programs. I'm so glad that we have our, our rising sophomores here today. I think they're sprinkled out throughout the, uh, the crowd today. So you can see um, the culmination of the work that happens uh, in our CTE programs. Now, when I was in, in, as you heard earlier, this is our first ever group of students inducted into uh, this National Honor Society uh, program. And when I was approached about um, bringing this program here to Northeast, it was a no-brainer. Our CTE students, um, they, they shine, right? And they allow our school to shine, not only here in the city of Philadelphia, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, but also at the national level as well. And so when I have an opportunity, we have an opportunity to give our students an opportunity to shine uh, we certainly take them. We, we, will, we will always uh, take uh, those opportunities. Uh, so with that, congratulations. Welcome, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your program. Thank you. Now we're going to induct and recognize our new National Technical Honor Society members. 
The following students embody the attributes of our organization and represent excellence in career and technical education. We're going to start with the senior class, the class of 2024 inductees. Rosiel Adele. <laughs> Vanessa Agoli. <laughs> Faisal Al Ali. <laughs> Adrian Afoqua. Donna Azalam. Solomon Bashir. Evis Bassage. Amber Cruz. Bashar Ghazi. <laughs> Sufian Ismail Hassan. <laughs> Cliff Marcelin. Jerry Palapa Delgado. <laughs> Mindy Pham. <laughs> Grismeldi Polanco Torres. <laughs> Robert Sierra. Rodney Torres Ortiz. <laughs> and Chelsea Venus. <laughs> These are our class of 2024 inductees. Now for our junior class of 2025, we have Jamela Bagrades. <laughs> Ting Chen. <laughs> Connor Cody. <laughs> Ralph Jaquez.
in a career of my choosing, and shall always endeavor to uphold my obligations as a citizen of my community. I now declare you duly inducted as members of the National Technical Honor Society chapter of Northeast High School. Before I make some closing remarks, can I have all the CT teachers come up front for me, please? Mr. McNair. Dr. Bolger, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Taylor, Mr. Brown. We're missing Ms. Punsonella and Mr. Alden. On, on these, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can I have Ms. Stratton come up as well in rep in, to respond for the ninth grade academy? I'm not just, uh, Ms. Ms. Davis, Ms. Ms. Davis, come up, please. On behalf of the administration, we really want to thank you for the work that you do on a daily basis, working with our young people. We want to thank you, Ms. Davis, for the group that you send us every year, ready to be molded. And, and, to our rising sophomores, to our rising sophomores, you get out of this experience what you put into it. And I still, and I see there's a couple of you that need some attention. And so I'll ask you for your attention again. You get out of this experience what you put, at, put into it. This is hard work, but you get rewarded for it and you get acknowledged for it. So thank you teachers for your time and your energies. Okay, let me have your attention again. On behalf of the Northeast High School, we would like to congratulate all of our hard work and installation into the National Technical Honor Society. This is an honor that will be able to carry with you throughout your education and your career. Congratulations and welcome to the National Technical Honor Society. I would like to just close out. This is my this is my last statement. This work is not done alone in, this, in a vacuum. We work as a team, Mr. Crowder, Mr. McDaniel, Ms. Mecca, Mr. Kress, Mr. Picardi, and we shoot ideas off each other. And there's never a space in that room where you feel like everybody's just saying yes because they're looking at what are the possibilities. Get into a room where you're not the smartest person, but there's smart people in there and you can learn from them. If you're the smartest person in that room, Leave the room. Okay. I thank you for your time and your energies. I thank you, Ms. Jimenez, for your support this, this year. I thank you, Ms. Um, De Silvis and Mr. Court and Ms. Bonner. Once again, thank you all. Uh, uh, inductees, please stand on, stay on the stage. Uh, we can exit them out now. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.